Hello and welcome. Uh, my name is Pete Weezer. I am the Director of Small Business Trade Marketing at TELUS. And I'd like to uh, thank you all for joining us today as we have our first webinar session focusing on transfer, transforming your small business through cloud communications delivered by our TELUS solution called Business Connect. Before I uh, expand on the rest of the day, I just want to bring up two housekeeping items uh, for you uh, to just keep in mind. We will be and have muted the bridge, and uh, that allows us to avoid all dis disruptions. We would like to then encourage as many questions as possible, so therefore, please use the chat function and type in message, select all panelists from the dropdown, and uh, we'll take all questions through that, and uh, we'll be able to answer them uh, towards the later part of the session. And secondly, just for your own privacy, since there are a variety of uh, clients uh, joining us today, We've, uh, we've hidden everyone's uh, client name just to keep the, to maintain privacy. So just wanted to share that with you. Um, again, so thank you very much for joining us today. Uh, today we are joined by two guest speakers from our partner called Ring Central, and they will take us through today's session, and I'll just give you a brief introduction to both of them. Uh, the first person that will be talking and carrying most of the session today is Reza Cameron, who is the Senior Manager of Product Marketing. And our second guest today is Douglas McDougall, who is uh, our client uh, sales engineer. As an overview for the meeting today, we will be taking through about 10 minutes of an overview and presentation format, and then we'll have an exhilarating present, uh, demonstration by, uh, by Douglas, and then we'll follow that up with Q&A. And again, it will be all through the chat function, so please uh, use that to manage all your questions. Um, so as I said, Reza will take, uh, take you through the session, and uh, without any further uh, ado, I'd like to hand it over to Reza. Thank you very much. Perfect. Thank you so much, Peter. Appreciate the introduction. Um, and welcome, everybody, to the, uh, the dealer training session here for transforming your business through the cloud. Um, we're going to take you through uh, a series of slides here to give you some introductions on, uh, you know, not only, you know, uh, not only Business Connect as a service, but really taking a step back and trying to give you an understanding of, you know, A, what cloud communications is, is all about, uh, and really what does this mean at the end of the day to small businesses that are, that are looking for this? So, you know, there's been a lot of talk about, you know, cloud communications or cloud services as a whole and what this really means, you know, uh, whether it be from is this really fictitious, is what are truly the benefits, and, and, and really how, what does this mean for my business at the end of the day? So I think, you know, the important thing to understand from a cloud communications perspective is, this is typically the ability to, you know, to, to host, um, uh, you know, uh, everything related to how we do business today from a communications perspective, whether that be for voice, video, storage, any type of critical business application, and relying on a third-party entity to be able to, uh, to host uh, a lot of these capabilities securely. Uh, and leveraging, you know, internal capabilities in terms of your public or private internet connections as a means to be able to, to do this. So the so what factor here um, related to this that well, why people choose this is it's a means to basically lower investment costs, uh, so less money to be spent by small businesses, but at the same time, you know, gain a lot more features and capabilities associated with communications and collaboration to make your business much more effective. So, you know, what I would like to say is it's like having your cake and being able to eat it too. So, you know, what does this really mean from, from a small business perspective? Well, you know, we, we did some analysis and having worked in small business myself and running an organization for a number of years in consulting, um, you know, we, we had a team, I had a personal team of about uh, initially about three people, eventually we grew to 14 people, and you know, small business has its challenges in a number of areas. So by research and from personal experience, you know, we nailed, nailed it down into a few key areas here, you know, from uh, what many small businesses face today. So, you know, the first and foremost, you know, how do I manage cash flow? So, you know, from, from this perspective, you know, this is, in, in, in personal experience, this is a combination of things. So, A, managing your costs effectively, and then being able to adjust your costs as, as needed for the business. 
And the features that Business Connect have offer a variety of those types of initiatives, whether it be from not having contracts in place to having very specific dashboards and reporting to costs to, to track user progression as well as costs and, you know, to be able to scale users up and down as you see fit. And then, you know, as the organization grows, then certainly items such as volume-based pricing can come into play um, to really provide uh, economic efficiency as, as the business grows. But the point here is, is the limitations associated with this are not limited. <laughs> so, you know, you're, you have that flexibility to be able to decide what's important to your business when it's important. Um, you know, another item which uh, I personally went through is this no time to lose type of mentality where I need to manage what I want, when I want it, and who I need it with wherever I can. So the, the capabilities of Business Connect really focus around, you know, anytime, anywhere communication and collaboration providing the same experience irrespective of where you are. And, you know, whether that be from, you know, the audio conferencing, video conferencing, meeting capabilities that we bring, uh, more importantly, the mobility integration that we offer where you can use, you know, tablets and smartphones and have the exact same experience anywhere you go are extremely powerful tools, um, you know, and having to be able to reach, you know, whether it be you know, other employees, suppliers, or customers uh, whenever I want is, is an extremely important feature. Um, so that has been certainly a driving factor that, that has helped in the adoption of, of Business Connect with our small business customers. And, you know, this platform that we've built here is built for small business. It's where it started, and it's what we do best. Um, how do I innovate? So when we talk about innovation, you know, um, there's this very fine line between, you know, organizations that are trying to be in their business versus organizations that want to be of their business, right? So, you know, how, how, do, you, how do you sort of manage the concepts of growing a business, but at the same time not losing the momentum and quality that fit within that business? Um, and at times, you know, a lot of business owners have to sacrifice, right, the, the whole concepts of being able to personally manage every single client relationship or, or every single widget and starting to move away from that in order to, to, to start managing the business, not just the, the operational elements and sub-elements within the business. So it's really a combination of both of those. And one of the things that we've seen being successful um, for small businesses as they continue to go through the evolution path is learn, learning from big companies. So, you know, the learning from big companies can stem from uh, how, you know, how well I, I actually can uh, work with other big brand names and somehow integrate those big brand names into my organization as part of either care, support, sales initiatives, uh, in order to, uh, you know, provide the perception of, yes, we are a small business, but, you know, we work with, uh, you know, a number of big brand names in order to make our business much more effective and efficient. And the point here is, is essentially related to integrations and uh, being able to not only have those big brand names in terms of capabilities, software, but to also be able to uh, take those big brand names and provide it as a much more integrated play into the day-to-day -day activities of your business. Um, the last that I've seen, uh, which is also an important feature, is, you know, how do I keep customers happy at the end of the day? More importantly, how do I gain new ones easily? Um, and what I've seen um, from my personal experience is, you know, customers, are, especially, uh, you know, customers when they're looking at investments into companies, they want to know that you're stable. They want, uh, they want to be able to know that not only they're getting uh, quality, a quality product or service, but at the end of the day, you know, are you going to be here tomorrow? And like I said, not only the integration elements of big brand features also help, but, you know, the ability to provide much more better customer support and service to my two customers also extends into the overall quality of the service or product. So how we do that, you know, we can, we can offer things such as, you know, virtual numbers where, you know, you're, you're able to, to, you know, let's suppose you're based in Toronto and you have customers that are, are in Vancouver. Wouldn't it be great to be able to provide a local number in Vancouver specifically to be able to address those customers or to have, you know, your toll-free numbers included across Canada so your customers can call in anytime, uh, anytime they want? or automated systems in place where I don't necessarily need to invest in a, you know, receptionist in each of my local cities, but I have a, a, a multi-level IVR system that allows customers to get to the specific person that they want when they want it and not have any delays. 
to monitoring, uh, you know, uh, call, call center type of features where, you know, I can, I can see essentially where, uh, where my sales teams are, where my support teams are, when they're on a call, who they're on a call with, and the quality associated with those conversations that are happening with customers. So these are just a few of them. We're going to get into more details once we go through the demo, uh, which will cover a lot of these features and capabilities, but at least give you sort of an idea of, of what they are. So, you know, looking at, at the evolution of, of this whole cloud communication environment, you know, traditionally we've seen, you know, legacy PBX type of services have been around for a while. Uh, it's nothing new. Big, big systems in place, limited capabilities. Uh, it resides on legacy systems, you know, traditional, uh, you know, your traditional POTS line or your PSTN network or your, your landline phone numbers uh, from the wireline days have been there, heavy long distance charges, you know, heavy investments in setup costs, um, been around for years. That has then evolved to this, this concept of IPPVX, which is, provides a little bit more flexibility, you know, the whole concept of uh, perhaps introducing VoIP and some savings of, of long distance services, but are still very difficult to scale, especially when it comes to multiple locations and the overall telco related costs associated with building these capabilities into these on-premise solutions are very heavy, high-cost investments. So improved experience, but still very costly. To where we are today, where cloud and co collaboration has come into place, driven a lot by changing dynamics of a workforce that is no longer just in one particular office, but anywhere and everywhere, um, and not only having those capabilities that are low cost, but very, very rich in capabilities because essentially it is scalable and it's managed by uh, professionals in the industry that actually know how to run uh, hosted communication services. Plus the aspect of collaboration, meaning that I can, I, my interaction capabilities, whether it be through voice messaging, you know, presence capabilities, uh, video conferencing capabilities, audio conferencing calls, they can be done literally anywhere. So your business is, is no longer limited to one particular location. You can do it pretty much wherever you want. Um, evaluating the total cost of ownership. So, you know, when people look at on-premise PBXs, they say, well, you know, it's only a one-time investment I need to make, and, you know, once I've done that, then, uh, then, then there's no more cost associated with it. Well, that's not really true. Um, the hardware PBX costs, which are not cheap, uh, are certainly very expensive. There's ongoing licensing fees that people are aware of. Uh, but the underlying costs and, you know, below, let's suppose, the, the, the iceberg, like we'd like to say, are a lot of the other costs that, that people do not necessarily evaluate. You know, generally the telco costs associated with keeping the service live, the local and long distance calling capabilities that we've seen. You know, toll-free numbers is another example, have been certainly things that have not been included in some of these packages. The cost to be able to support consistent experiences across multiple locations has been another issue. You know, and then any type of outside services, you know, typically it's never been an all-inclusive package associated with it. It's usually an a la carte type of environment. And then when you start layering on more complexity associated with it as your business grows, cost associated with that does. The value of the Business Connect solution, it's everything all in one. One all-inclusive pricing and all your capabilities built into one package. The value proposition associated with that is you know, rather than us telling you what your business should be doing, we'll give you all the features and you pick and choose what's important to you. So what is Business Connect? Well, the uh, Business Connect really represents this new era of business cloud communication, uh, integrating fully mobile office communication system that now allows you as an organization to become more accessible, more productive, and more pro professional anywhere and anytime with limited to no upfront capital investments right now. So it's a very straightforward, simple process to get everything that you need very quickly without necessarily spending a lot of money uh, in upfront costs to be able to do it. The other value proposition, as I mentioned before, is businesses are changing. And communication does not necessarily sit in one office. Communication happens everywhere. So how, you know, the other value is providing the same type of experience, whether it be on my desktop, whether it be on my computer, or whether it be on my mobile device, I have the accessibility to the same amounts of information in order for me to become as productive and as efficient as a small business as I can.
We briefly talked about this already in terms of the rich collaboration capabilities. There are literally hundreds of features that you can start looking at and customize these, again, according to your business needs, when you need it, and, and why you need it. So something that our, our small business customers are saying about us, uh, you know, in our business, you have to meet your customer expectations for responsiveness. TELUS Business Connect was the only solution to demonstrate the flexibility we need. TELUS Business Connect has already saved us a significant amount of money. It allows us to consolidate costs, ensure our, our entire teams have access to all communication they need whenever they need it. We're big fans of TELUS Business Connect because it's so, it's so simple to use, easy to set up. We're saving money with, uh, with the move from our landline to, cloud, uh, to cloud-based solutions, and our productivity has increased significantly. So, you know, just to give you an idea, and we're going to go through the demos a little bit more of the breadth and capabilities, you know, we have collaboration tools that are available, whether they be video, online meetings, audio conferencing, to voicemail and greeting capabilities, right, visual voicemail types of settings, voicemail capabilities, voicemail to email capabilities, setting up your personal greetings. Mobility integrations across Android and iOS systems, so your Apple and Android, uh, which is not necessarily device limited, so the software is supported in order to take your communications wherever you need it. To integrations, looking at branded integration providers, whether they be from Microsoft Office 365 to Google to Salesforce, uh, Outlook integrations that are readily available and are plug and play for you to be able to add in into your system uh, whenever you need it to a host of cloud PBX type of capabilities which are already built into on-prem solutions. We've just essentially extended that to the cloud. IVR systems, user templates for user groups, extension, extension dialing capabilities, call park type of features, single sign-on type of services. There's a multitude of services that are available at your discretion. To phone services and devices, right? Offering, for example, ring me out features, desktop phone features, conference phone, conference call, a uh, conference phone type of capabilities in terms of varieties, uh, ad adapters for analog, uh, analog adapters that are available, a soft phone that's available. So you have a multitude of, of different choices around phone services and devices. To call management capabilities, you know, the ability to move a call from a desk phone to a uh, to your soft phone to your mobile phone, uh, you know, to be able to log activities that are happening to specific types of notifications and alerts, to miss call notifications, there's just a plethora of things that you can do. Related to, again, to the integration elements that we talked about before, we are consistently growing our integration, brand integration partner portfolio with Business Connect. So essentially, you just will consistently benefit from a, a much more richer experience, not just for yourself, but for your employees and also your customers that now can experience, you know, a lot of these big brand business names that have spent a lot of time, you know, optimizing their user experience, their performance capabilities, and allowing you as an organization just to build it into your day-to-day -day activities. So one last item that, uh, a couple last items that I want to talk through right now related to uh, an add-on feature that we have with Business Connect. So it's not included in the Business Connect package, but we do offer something known as Smart Hub. And what Smart Hub delivers is the ability to provide failover capabilities to a wireless network in the event that your internet goes down. And again, this is again about real-time communications. It's about providing your uptime of your business anywhere, anytime. Uh, and essentially, it's, it's a, it's, it also can be used as a traveling hub. So if you're visiting trade shows or customer visits, you can just take this with you and essentially plop it on, on the table. And, uh, and then you have your personal hotspot in a, in a business environment or in a, a trade show type of environment. So those are the, typically the two benefits uh, of this is, is, again, in the event there are outages that happen, you always have a business redundancy service that's available on-prem when you need it to ensure your business is constantly running. So your dealer will have more information about this if questions do come up. Now, just a very quick, I wanted to talk about the onboarding process and, and how, how simple we make this. Um, you know, there are four major steps that typically happen with this. One is the network readiness piece of it. And majority of small businesses 
uh, because the solution is built in such a way that it's, it's meant to be for small businesses, this is usually a plug-and-play type of initiative where uh, your network, how it is, we would essentially integrate uh, our, the, the phone systems will be ready to go, uh, uh, preloaded already with the configurations in place, uh, plug them into your, your network and you're ready to go. Uh, there may be some minor changes in configuration changes that would help, uh, that may, may need to happen, but uh, usually they're very simple and easy to do. Going on and doing your web registration, which is physically going to the website, signing up for the service, providing your, your contact details, your, the number of employees, uh, information associated with how you want to set it up. We would then set up an implementation call with you, and this is one of two options, by the way. An implementation call would be a phone, physically someone picking up the phone, calling you, and actually stepping you through how to use the service. And then finally, your number transfers, which was saying, you know what, uh, you, don't need to, you don't need to have new numbers when you're switching over to Business Connect. However your business is running, whether it's on landline phones, whether it's another system or service, we can literally take those numbers, transfer it over to the system seamlessly, and your business continues working with not only a, a very um, you know, rich feature intense uh, service, but one that does not disrupt your business in any way, shape, or form. Now we briefly mentioned the two options where there's uh, the implementation calls that happen um, for customers immediately when they sign up for the service. We also have another service known as White Glove, which is uh, you know typically used in the event that customers want to have an on-site person come there to physically do any installation. So whether that be you know network installations, testing your bandwidth type of capabilities, setting up the modems and routers, walking you through more personal training on the administration capabilities. Um, to, to helping customers completing porting requests, um, you know, setting up, uh, you know, setting up your own devices if, if you're bringing your own device to, to ensure that there's capabilities associated with that and alignment with your business. So again, it's an option available. We wanted to, pr we provide as much flexibility as you need. And again, your dealer will have more information on uh, the, these types of implementation models if these questions come up. So. Without any further ado, we want to go through now some of the Business Connect demonstration items to give you guys a look and feel of what are the capabilities built within the system. Uh, and we tried to focus this on specifically the capabilities that I mentioned in the SMB challenges. So I'm going to now hand this over to Doug that's going to do a walkthrough on, you know, the tools, the communication tools, the easy navigation, you know, dashboards and reporting capabilities your multi-level IVR, and then some samples of how integrations work, and we're going to give Google as an example. So, Doug, I will now hand it over to you uh, to give us a walkthrough on this. Thank you, Reza. Okay, and I'll just share my screen. Go oh, should be uh, up and running. Everybody should be able to see my screen. Uh, I'm doing a live demo here of um, of the voice manager interface, and um, what we're going to look at is a number of options and and features inside the system. Really focusing on ease of use um, and and really becoming that productivity tool uh, that that most businesses are really looking for. And ultimately, it's it's accessing it uh, really anytime, anywhere. Um, we can't really stress that enough because you, as long as you've got internet access, uh, you can really access this interface from anywhere. I'm, I'm in a standard web browser. Uh, I'm looking at my extension portal, um, and I have full access to all my messages and my call logs. And the ease of use really is just point and click uh, looking at messaging. I can look at my messaging on my, uh, on my web interface. I can also look at it uh, on a desktop application that runs. This turns my PC into a telephone. Uh, that messaging, of course, shows up as uh, as voicemails and texts, uh, or sorry, voicemails and faxes that show up in here, and uh, I have that uh, text-to-speech or speech-to-text conversion of um, a visual voicemail um, attached inside here, so I can look at those brand new messages that come in, as well as having the, uh, that full-blown access inside uh, a cellular phone. Now, this is actually an image, uh, a real live image of my Samsung S5 that I've got plugged into my laptop here. And uh, when the application fires up, 
uh, I have access to all that, that messaging inside uh, that interface as well. So it really um, you know, shows off the unified uh, nature of, uh, of messaging and mes mes messaging management. Um, all of your voicemails and faxes show up uh, in one location and they're managed from multiple devices. Um, so you're not you know, going back to your cell phone and listening to uh, voicemails and managing your uh, voicemails from your cell phone ma uh, manually or separately from your phone system. PBXs would have a, um, a voicemail system built into them, you'd have to be on the PBX to get those messages. Um, with the integration that we've got uh, on the mobile app on the left-hand side, the desktop app on the right-hand side, uh, and uh, you know, sending that, uh, that message also to, uh, to email, uh, I now have an, uh, an attachment. That audio MP3 file uh, is attached with the actual message, and that transcription of that message shows up uh, inside that email as well. So I've got full capability of managing all of that, uh, all of that messaging inside it. Um, now, when it comes down to really ease of use, um, the soft phone app, of course, gives you the ability to make those outbound calls um, and making those outbound calls from wherever you are. Um, if you've got your laptop with you, you've got your accessibility from that uh, desktop application, making those outbound calls, adjusting your outbound caller ID so you can always represent uh, the correct portion of the company that, uh, that, that you represent uh, or your department that you're in, whether it's your main phone number, um, whether you need to block that outbound call um, as far as your outbound caller ID goes, or you use your direct DID uh, or direct number when you, when you make that, uh, that sales call. Uh, and the same thing holds true for the cellular phone. So I can use my cellular phone, hide my cell phone number, and still represent the company having full access to those numbers that I have inside Business Connect right on my cellular device. So you're never away from the phone system uh, being able to uh, make those outbound calls. Um, it really, really makes it easy and, and turns that, uh, that device into that productivity tool that, uh, that you really need. Uh, now, moving over to the administration interface, um, oh, one other thing I want to show you too is the heads-up display that comes with the software uh, desktop application, uh, giving you full visibility of, of people or workers inside your, uh, your environment, um, showing you who they're talking to, when they're on the phone, uh, having the ability to uh, you know, singly dial them by pressing the call button uh, and, and dialing that, uh, that user directly um, and seeing exactly what they're doing and when they're online, offline, busy active with another caller and showing the caller ID of the information that they're uh, uh, that the people they're talking to now moving over to the administration uh, admin portal and and really the the biggest portion of uh, of the admin portal is the ease of use and I really want to show off the um, uh, the cellular access and again this is anytime anywhere being able to to actually manage this phone system uh, from a cellular device and manage it from the web interface is virtually identical. Um, you've got the same options uh, from a cellular device as you do from the um, uh, from the web interface. Uh, all of your help functions are built in. You have company shortcuts that are built over time, uh, and um, you know we we see these as the most common things. So those are the the ones that pop up, as well as full blown help functions built in. Uh, you can always get your uh, your questions answered. Uh, when you need to uh, set up call forwarding, you click on it and it will actually forward you to uh, to an instructions page from the telus.com uh, telus website uh, to give you that information. Um, adjusting user information, adjusting telephone numbers, um, very easy to point numbers around, moving them in the system. Uh, it's Essentially, it's just point and click to move phone numbers around and, and reassigning them to other users or other departments. Uh, very simple to use. Um, moving on to uh, reporting, and uh, the reporting capability gives the probably the biggest strength inside the system for small businesses specifically. Uh, this is not a feature that's typically available on a small key system or a PBX. Um, having the availability to see uh, or visually, you know, where your calls are coming from, uh, what's your busiest hour during the day, how many calls you're missing, um, you have the ability to, to manage that staffing requirement. You know, when do you have to staff up? Uh, oh my, I'm missing a whole bunch of calls uh, and they're particularly at a, at a certain time of the day I need more people uh, on the phone to uh, to answer those incoming calls um, or I need more people to make those outbound calls because I have a, a sales activity going on um, you can look at queue activity if you uh, if you're using incoming queues and uh, I'm going to expand this to 90 days just so I have a little more data 
And this information will give you uh, all of your queue information on inbound calling, um, so you can really focus on that uh, that advertising spend and, uh, and and make sure that you're spending the right amount of money on uh, on your advertising and that it's really effective. Um, you can look at the the number of calls that you're receiving per group, for example. Um, you know how many are answered, how many have been missed, how many are actually going to voicemail, what the average duration of those calls are, and of course the most important thing: what is your average time to answer uh, for those inbound calls. Uh, having that information and being able to drill down farther into a different group uh, is very easy to do. Um, you can nail down uh, or drill down even further to user activity to see who your who your busiest users are. And um, using this information, you can um, you know build uh, somewhat of an incentive program to see you know who's taking those most calls in the in, in the last 90 days or the last 60 days, um, and and incent those people to make sure that they're they're you know focused on on the right activities and uh, they're answering their calls with um, you know trying to be as productive as possible. Um, now, all of this information, of course, uh, we do have in raw format, so you can manipulate it quite easily, too. And, and that's a really powerful feature inside the system is the call logs. Um, I'm going to open this up as a little more detailed information as well. And I'm going to show all of extensions. And I'm just looking at the last seven days, for example. Um, now, I can take all of this raw information and download it if I wish uh, and bring it into an XLS or an Excel file. This actually opens it up in, in native Excel. And now I have a full-blown report. I'll do a quick auto fit. There we go. And we have all this raw information. So now I can, I can run analytics towards this custom. Um, I can actually, um, you know, put some, um, some costing uh, based on the, uh, on, on the duration of these calls. Um, I can see where those, uh, those calls are being answered, uh, who's answering those calls, even if devices are offline. Uh, if I have a phone offline, I can see that. Uh, the biggest thing that it captures uh, inside is your caller ID. Your caller ID is now, uh, is now matched, so you now have a record of, of who's calling you, and you can make those calls back uh, by, by building that log and, and sharing it with your, uh, with your employees. Um, it captures the phone number that was dialed, and ultimately where that call was uh, was was um, ended up inside the system or the disposition, and um, you know whether that call was connected or it was missed, uh, for example. This can be saved um, in in your local drive, your local hard drive, and uh, it essentially gives you a uh, indefinite uh, storage space for uh, uh, for information uh, based on your system. Uh, now the cool thing about uh, the call logs themselves, if you like those reports and you need Need those reports um, to, to build whatever kind of um, monetary rewards for your employees or incentives or to verify your um, uh, your advertising spend you can now have that information sent to you on a weekly daily or a monthly basis whatever day you choose or even on a month putting in your email address uh, into into the field or multiple email addresses and uh, this report will be sent to you automatically Now moving over back to the uh, to the telephone system itself, and uh, looking at inbound calling, uh, inbound calling, of course, um, you know, having that perception that uh, you know a small business is operating on a larger scale, uh, or from a multi-location, or supporting a very large, um, you know, sales territory across Canada, for example, or Western Canada or Eastern Canada, whatever you require, um, has the ability to to you know build in that, that custom uh, working hours. Um, you can specify when you're open. You can have customized greetings on inbound uh, calls during the day and after hours. You can tell the system what you want to, uh, to happen during your company hours, what you want it to do after hours. And probably one of the most advanced features or important features is advanced routing. Here's where you can add rules. Um, you can have uh, you know, inbound callers um, specifically routed uh, depending on time of day or based on on caller ID or based on the number that they've dialed or combinations of any of those three. Um, so you can have VIPs, for example, uh, based on caller ID and have that VIP uh, routed specifically to, um, uh, to a sales group or to an executive if it's, uh, if it's a family member calling in, for example. Um, that can all be uh, routed quite easily using, uh, using those advanced rules, a very powerful part of the, uh, of the system. 
Now, the, some of the uh, other features inside the auto attendant, of course, is uh, recording your company greetings. Uh, this, the system allows multiple methods of, uh, of recording that company greeting, either using your phone, using your USB microphone uh, based on your, um, uh, on, on your PC, uh, where you can have that high-quality audio coming in, or if you have them professionally recorded, for example, and you can then import them as a WAV or an MP3 file. Um, and uh, this is really powerful for, uh, for promotions and uh, those weekly changes. You might have a, a snow day or, uh, God forbid, like it's happening in Fort McMurray with, with the fire, and we have to change the, uh, uh, the routing of calls and have an important message posted. Uh, that can be um, actually put in there quite easily and uploaded. Um, and you can have a repository or a library built on your local PC uh, that has all your greetings in it uh, that you can manage quite easily. Um, and the beauty of this, all of these changes can be done right from your cell phone as well. So if you're not even in the office, you can make those changes uh, to your uh, custom routing uh, or company hours, for example, um, right from your cellular phone. Um, we also have full-blown dial-by-name directory. Um, we've got call recording built into the system to allow for, um, uh, for call tracking and on-demand and automatic call recording with uh, a substantial amount of storage. On-demand in Standard Edition gives you 10,000 files, uh, three hours in length, and we'll store those for up to 90 days. Automatic call recording with Premium and Premium Plus uh, will give you up to 100,000 files at three hours each, um, and they're stored for 90 days as well. All of these recordings can be downloaded uh, and saved indefinitely on your local hard drive. Um, now, one of the other important features inside the auto receptionist is that because we're not uh, based on a particular location, because it's cloud-based, um, your phone system can be based in whatever time zone that you operate in. Um, your users can be based on whatever time zone they are operated in and, uh, and routing accordingly under that user info so they have their own regional settings. So I'm in Pacific time because I'm in Vancouver, but my company's based in Toronto, so it's, uh, it's using Eastern time. And uh, that coincides to my customer hours uh, inside my call routing and uh, it makes it very very easy to uh, to manage this um, uh, this call flow and who's available who's not available inside the system now the integration uh, that uh, that Reza had mentioned that we uh, that we have with partners is really important inside the system because we're cloud-based uh, we're really a software company we've got integrations with uh, with a number of providers um, just if, for example in the faxing world um, and document repository you can have your your sales documents your one pagers your uh, sales contracts um, whatever it might be uh, stored in Dropbox box or Google Drive accessible essentially from anywhere and again uh, from the mobile device you've got the same integration when you want to send that outbound fax uh, from uh, from your mobile device you, you can actually take a picture of a document uh, include it as a photo uh, because this is an Android device my Google Drive is actually built into documents and photos but I have the the software uh, cloud-based storage as Dropbox and box also included from my uh, from my cell phone so as long as I've got that network access uh, I can pull those documents right from uh, right from the cloud and this gives you a, a really good indication of, of where that partnership comes in and, and the big name players that we that we play with inside uh, inside the integration uh, inside the Google world um, we actually integrate directly inside the Chrome browser um, where you can have click the dial from a particular email address so you can open an email for example and scroll down find that phone number that you want to dial and you can click the dial right from here Okay, and it will dial that phone number automatically right from your dialer because it's built in. Um, the voicemail integration is built into this, uh, in, into this integration as well. Uh, all your contacts are mirrored inside here, tied with, uh, with your Google contacts. Um, you've got your call log, of course, that shows you all of your missed inbound or outbound calls. You can use this to, uh, to dial back as well. Um, you can schedule your meetings through Business Connect meetings. You can even use Google Hangouts uh, for conferencing built in. Uh, audio conferencing, of course, is fully supported uh, inside all of the environments that, um, uh, or all of the endpoints that we uh, that, that we endorse. And um, you know, you can have that thousand-person conference uh, in an audio conference, so every user gets the ability to have that audio conference. 
And Business Connect meetings, I'll, I'll close out with Business Connect meetings. Uh, Business Connect meetings, of course, you can have uh, your, your video or web, uh, web sharing sessions uh, built into each user. Each user has their own account uh, that comes with the, um, uh, with the system, which is fully baked in. And uh, you can start your, uh, your video meeting. You can have that ad hoc meeting using that, um, uh, the video sharing, for example, uh, to eliminate that flight to that other city uh, to have that video conference. Uh, maybe you want to have an interview with a prospective employer uh, or, um, sorry, employee uh, that uh, you can send out the invite. You can schedule a meeting um, with, uh, with that employee. You can schedule it out to whatever day you want. And uh, once you select your options, use your Outlook calendar, for example, and uh, this will actually pop up the, uh, the meeting maker automatically uh, inside Outlook with all the required dialing information for the audio portion and the click, um, uh, click URL uh, to open up that browser integration. This is not uh, tied to employees only. Anybody can join uh, one of your video or conferences uh, that you may have inside the system. And uh, that uh, is a quick overview. Thank you very much. Uh, back over to Reza. Wonderful. Well, thank you so much, Doug, for the presentation. I think this was uh, fantastic. It makes me want to buy Business Connect all over again. Um, so what we'll do right now, I just want to close out on a couple of items. And one thing that I'd like to mention uh, right now is um, related to um, any type of questions and answers that you may have, um, please feel free to use the, the chat feature uh, that is provided uh, in, the, uh, in, the, in, the, in the WebEx meeting. Um, we have a couple of questions that have already come up, so I will uh, address those shortly. Um, I'm just going to bring up my presentation again here, and uh, we'll kind of go through that uh, in a little bit more depth. Um, but yes, please free, free, feel free to use that, and then we'll uh, we'll cover that off. Okay, Doug, are you able to see my screen right now? Yes, absolutely. Okay, perfect. So just to finalize on some of the areas that that Doug had uh, had mentioned and talked about here, these are the different plans and services that are offered through Business Connect. And essentially, they are intended to be plans that are all-inclusive, provide you with all the basic capabilities of what you really need from a communication and collaboration perspective, whether it be from having your local numbers uh, to internet access, which is available in our Western markets uh, from TELUS, um, to your unlimited calling plans from Canada and the U.S., to conference calling capabilities, to faxing capabilities to integration with mobile, to single number reach capabilities, to call logs and the integration elements. All are available with the additional items that we have for customers that are uh, essentially looking for higher, higher capabilities in, in, in functionality for larger organizations, whether it be for call center features, like call monitoring, call whisper, call barge, call takeover, um, which are really capabilities that allow you to intercept and manage live calls with customers um, to the multi-level IVR items for, uh, for service enablement uh, that Doug had, had given a demo through, to call recording, automatic call recording, to really manage and trace a lot of the activities happening within the organization. We found you know, this has been extremely important to organizations that either have small or mini call centers that they need to manage, to the healthcare industries, to, uh, to, to legal and professional services where you know, a lot of times information is highly secure and needs to be managed accordingly. Um, there, there have been some, some, some specific needs associated with that. To analytics uh, and advanced reporting capabilities, which is a feature that is now available um, uh, for, for Business Connect users. Um, to, to the, uh, to the to, uh, you know, high quality data, high quality voice services that are available. To any type of API development. Uh, so we actually have custom APIs that, uh, that, that are also available if there ever is a need to develop applications, specifically um, leveraging uh, you know, the Business Connect structure. Uh, those are all possible through a developer platform that we have, and we would cover that in, a, in another topic. So uh, we will hand it over now. We'll do the uh, question and answer here, uh, period. And I'm just going to go through the, uh, the, the chat features that I am seeing on my screen right now. So I'll start off with um, the first one here. 
So uh, one of the questions are, can you, oops, more questions coming in, sorry. Uh, can you use uh, uh, the, the backup smart hub for telephone calls when the internet is down? Um, the short answer is yes, that's predominantly what the service is intended for, um, but not necessarily limited to. So because Business Connect supports you know, your voice capabilities, your internet capabilities, and you know, your, your, and your video capabilities, audio, all of it, essentially, you have a complete system backup on your, on your LAN that would be leveraging, you know, TELUS's wireless network. And typically the wireless network is, uh, has a very strong uptime. In other words, the stability of the wireless network always remaining up and running is fairly strong. Um, with, with TELUS specifically. So again, it just provides a safety mechanism um, associated with, with the service so that your business is never down. Um, is there a limit to how many faxes can be sent out on this, at the same time? For example, one client sends 40,000 in bursts at the same time. They have a 20 meg fiber pipe and want to ensure that there won't be any delays. Um, Doug, do you want to take that one? Do you, do you have any idea? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Um, yeah. The, our service is not meant for uh, for for a pure faxing environment. Um, it, it's made for standard business use. Um, so a forty thousand fax burst um, would be specific to to a fax service, uh, dedicated fax service. Um, our our faxes will uh, will support up to a two hundred page fax, um, which is equivalent to about twenty meg. Uh, megabytes of data um, equivalent to that, so the attachments would have to be under that, um, and 49 recipients is uh, is the maximum. So it's really it, it's tailored to business use, not not as a dedicated fax service. Perfect, thank you. Uh, our next question here is: Can you perform screenshots during conference calls, either during a video chat or voice uh, um, conference calling capabilities? Certainly, during with the with the meeting uh, meeting capabilities, Business Connect meetings, you have the ability to to provide screen sharing capabilities. Uh, those screen sharing capabilities can be done either from your desktop, or from your mobile, or from your tablet. We've we've had situations where people are running the application off of their tablets. So the short answer is yes. This is available through the meetings invite. The audio conferencing bridge, which supports up to a thousand users, does not have uh, sharing capabilities, uh, video sharing capabilities. It's meant to be strictly for audio and only audio. Um, next question, does Business Connect Calendar sync? Uh, does the Business Connect Calendar sync with Gmail calendars? Um, so the short answer is it can, and, and um, the calendar synchronization, I believe, Doug, correct me if I'm wrong here, with the integration with the Google integration, I believe that enables the calendar sync, if I'm not mistaken. Is that correct? That's correct. Yes, it does. Yes. Yep. yep. Okay. Is SAP integration on the roadmap? Um, the SAP integration is not on the roadmap immediately. Um, we certainly have other aspects and elements that are on the roadmap for other integrations, Skype for Business being one of them. But currently, ERP is, is, not, is not currently there right now as, as it sits. Do you have? Uh, um, do you need to have secondary seat to use desk, desk, uh, desktop uh, soft phone? Do you? Sorry. Uh, do you need to have a secondary seat to use the desktop uh, soft phone? Um, no, you do not need to have a secondary seat in order to use that. That uh, that would be a uh, uh, available as part of a primary seat offering um, that, that could be used, just another mechanism in order to complete that. If you're using the Smart Hub, how many calls can be handled when the internet is down? Um, typically, it, it depends on, on the, the connection. Um, on, on the wireless side, uh, your, your internet connection uh, typically on, on the wireless network is, is usually uh, focused and it varies because of signaling. Um, but it depends uh, on average of the, the, um, the, the amount of data that's happening. Usually on average, it's usually a two meg up and seven meg down on an LTE network which on average can support uh, at any given time anywhere between, you know, uh, we've seen it uh, anywhere between 
15 to 25 consecutive calls and standby calls that can support up to 75 on those types of connections. But I will point out that it is a best effort service. So in other words, it's not necessarily consistent, um, though it obviously would provide the availability. Uh, it just depends on uh, the signaling strength that's available and the, uh, and, and, and the bandwidth at that particular moment. But on average, it's, it's, it, you know, the range has been in that range for 15 consecutive um, standby, anywhere between you know, 50 to 75 we've seen available. Um, just and let I you know, too, Reza, there's a bunch of questions yeah. in the Q&A as well. Uh, actually, those were the Q&A questions. Maybe I missed it here. Um, oh, those were the chat questions. Yeah, there's chat questions oh, okay. and Q&A questions. I can't see the Q&A questions. Um, yeah, uh, I can read them out if you want. Uh, sure, okay. if you don't mind. So we got a question. Uh, On-premise key systems have a large upfront cost, but can generally scale as decreasing costs uh, per added extension. Is there a point where a key system is better cost-effective solution versus the cloud? So key uh, systems being, I'm assuming, on-prem type of models, right? Correct. Yeah, and it, it really it really varies on on customer choice. As I said before. Um, you know, where we've seen on-prem solutions being used, predominantly being used more effectively, has been with much, much larger organizations, government organizations as, as an example, or organizations that have had, um, you know, TBX service as a already invested solution in place. Um, so typically in those very, very large environments, we've seen, we've seen them uh, essentially being used, and mainly because of the fact that they've been investments that have already been made. Um, so, it, you know, th those have been typical examples, but, but the value proposition associated with the cloud capabilities is that, you know, um, there are no limits associated with, with the implementation models. You know, it can scale not just for small business, but we've done very, very large implementations on the cloud side of the house as well. So it, it really depends on, on customer choice um, at the end of the day. Um, but in all honesty, the, the value proposition associated with cloud is not just the implementation of it, but the, the constant renewals associated with features and capabilities um, for the service. Like for example, Business Connect, we go through software releases on a, on a quarterly basis, and we're consistently adding new capabilities and new services to all the additions. And these are not done in such a way where it's extra cost. They are simply included uh, within the offering. So it just becomes a situation where it's consistently improving as opposed to typically on-prems that are limited to, and there are software releases that are there, but are typically tied to licensing models, right? So. Yeah, and, and one bit I just want to top up on that as well is like as, as Reza was saying, it totally it varies depending on your overall business needs, right? Um, like if you require toll-free audio conferencing uh, meetings, say sub such as WebEx or, or GoTo, whereas you could replace with Business Connect meetings after our support, like it's going to vary totally depending on your company. Um, like for instance, a furniture shop may vary what a what a law office would require. Right, so you always want to make sure that you're speaking to your uh, dealer sales rep so that we can get the qualifying questions. Okay, there's, uh, there's also a bunch of other questions here. Um, is the HUD available on the mobile app? Um, do you want me to answer that, Reza? Shoot, shoot for it. Go for yeah, it. Yeah, okay. Um, for, unfortunately not. It's due to the, uh, the amount of data that's required to run that HUD. Uh, it would be quite um, uh, quite onerous on, on the, the cellular network to, to get all those updates in real, uh, in real time. So, uh, no, the HUD's not available on the mobile app. It definitely uh, is, is tailored to the, uh, to the desktop application itself. Uh, let's see, another question, uh, could the BlackBerry smartphone uh, be used with Business Connect? Um, that's totally dependent on the user. Um, that uh, The BlackBerry, the newest Blackberries, of course, that support Android or built on Android, um, you know, they, they do support uh, Android applications. Um, it's at the customer's, um, uh, customers or users' uh, own use, okay? They're just not officially supported through, uh, through tech support. Uh, let's see, some more questions here. 
I have a client who had uh, wished to have a ring group set up for company hours and auto receptionist after hours. During company hours, they were wondering if an unanswered call by the group can be redirected back to the auto receptionist or just group message. Um, what happens with inbound calls if they uh, are pointed towards a group? If they go unanswered, they can go to a group uh, voicemail message. That group, group voicemail message, of course, can be then um, sent to, uh, to the manager, for example, the message itself, and then notified to uh, uh, numerous email addresses uh, can, be, uh, can be notified that there's a voicemail uh, that, that comes into that group. Uh, let's see. In multiple locations in Western Canada, on average, are you noticing with monthly bills? Are they typically higher with Business Connect, or are you seeing reduced monthly costs? I know this may be company-specific based on usage. You, can you answer that one, Reza? Sorry, can you say the question again, please? It was sure. Uh, multiple locations in Western Canada, on average, uh, are you noticing with monthly bills? Are they typically higher with Business Connect, or are you seeing reduced monthly costs? I know this may be company-specific based on usage. It, it depends. Yeah, it, it certainly depends on on the usage and capabilities. Um, I think within the within each organization, and depending on how they're using it. I mean, one of the value propositions that uh, that we do see is that typically, uh, from a a voice perspective, the fact that you know local and long distance calling is sort of all encompassing into the package itself. The fact that you know, your toll-free numbers provide up to, I believe, a thousand minutes of toll-free and uh, minutes of use, which uh, you know, typically on average, we've had very little customers that actually go over over those minutes. And the other fact that the data services, in terms of voice usage, uh, even to some extent, the video uh, compression capabilities are very minimal. So, in other words, we haven't run into a lot of cases where people are are going beyond their um, their usage over internet because of leveraging Business Connect um, inputs. Um, that's been my experience. I don't know, Keith, if you if you had any 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 additional items on that, but that's certainly what I've seen, and we haven't seen any any complaints that the bandwidth has become uh, a critical factor in in onboarding Business Connect as it relates to other business as usual processes. But that's that's been my my experience. Keith, did you, did you have anything to add to that? No, nope, not at this time. Okay. Uh, another question: um, Can MP3s be used to uh, uh, use for message played while on hold? Uh, absolutely, yes. Uh, MP3s or WAV files can be used for music on hold or commercial on hold. Of course, inside the system, they can be uh, custom recorded with um, uh, with with you know segments of of audio that. Uh, that signify you know, promotions or uh, um, you know get this information ready type thing before your call's answered, uh, or even simply you know thank you for staying on hold and then continuing back to music. If it's custom built um, as an MP3, absolutely just upload that uh, that music to the system. And each individual user can have uh, custom music on hold. Uh, each group uh, or queue can have custom music on hold as well as system wide. And I think there might be a couple more questions in the chat side of it as well. Yeah, I think what we'll do is um, we'll take, uh, I, I know that there's a, there's a number of questions here. Uh, so we'll just do uh, another, another, another one here, just a quick one. And then what we'll do is we'll take the other questions uh, that are there, and we'll take them offline. So, um, you know, uh, between the uh, Peter's team, uh, we'll respond accordingly to some of those questions uh, offline. But related to the, the the other question that I see here for Salesforce integration and asking essentially what this means. The so Salesforce integration piece is essentially providing an integrated experience with the communication elements of Business Connect within a Salesforce offering. So the value propositions associated with this is within the application itself, you have the ability to set up meetings, to do uh, video conferencing calls or online meeting capabilities. You can actually make voice calls within there, within the Salesforce tool. I can be in a specific an account, uh, looking at a specific number, logging that information, clicking on that information. I don't necessarily have to, you know, go to the Business Connect app to open it up. I can essentially just click on that number and it'll automatically open it up within the application itself. Currently, right now, this is what I would depict. It would actually open up the window associated with Business Connect. 
The next wave that we're working on in the release is something called WebRTC. For those of you that don't know what that is, it's an integrated experience into the actual application itself. So what that will do is I can be on a browser anywhere, whether it be on my desktop or, or it could be, uh, you know, I'm, I'm just using the internet somewhere for off of a, off the support site, and I can actually, when I'm logging into my Salesforce account, there would be an integrated experience associated with the dialer, irrespective and built into the actual uh, application and browser itself. So I literally can just take that application and use communication capabilities within there. And that's a coming feature that, uh, it's available today, but uh, not the integrated piece, which is a coming feature in, in coming up in our Q3 release. So, uh, guys, we're going to have to close it off there. there, there um, I believe there are a few other questions that are here, but we'll document these questions and uh, send your responses to, the, uh, to Peter's team himself, which will then relay through each of the dealers themselves. If there are any other questions, please, please feel free to contact your dealers uh, for additional information on Business Connect and uh, they would then relay the information back to us, and we, we, we hope to uh, see you uh, all as customers on Business Connect. Thanks again for joining the call, and uh, we will talk to you soon. Take care then. Thanks, everyone.